Hey everybody, Winstreak here. Today's question comes from Jacob Aldana. Uh, They're looking to check if an instance of the same object is within a certain radius of another object. So I have a bunch of just tile sprites here and I can click on one and that becomes my active sprite and then I can click on a button up here and I'll check to see what's inside of 150 distance, 250 distance, and 500 distance. Um, and then you can re-click and change it again and you can also bring it back down to a smaller distance. So without further ado, we'll hop into how this works. So I have three globals. We start out with the range and the range global is just going to hold how far I want to look from my starting object and then active X and active Y are gonna hold my X and Y position for my active square so we'll get to those in a minute my first line of code here is just my selector and essentially if I click on something it will turn it to an active square which just turns it green and as you can see my square is just an empty for normal active is green so if I click on it, it turns green and nearby is turn red so it'll set it to active but before that it goes to new active and it essentially just resets everything to normal and then also calls new button and it resets all the buttons to zero so it just zeroizes everything and then it will set us an active sprite and the zeroizing is important in order to make sure you have only the one clicked sprite as active and you're not comparing old values. And then we essentially do the same thing for our three buttons here. So call button 150, so 150 distance. We'll set that one to active. And a lot like the other ones, if I come in here, we have an off and an active. They're just the same thing with a brighter glow. So it shows that one is different than the others calls new button which just resets all the button features and then it sets the button to active and then it sets my range up here to 150 so it just holds that value 250 and 500 work the exact same way except the range value is going to be 250 or 500 and then we already talked about new active and new button these are just both my resets if my sprite is playing active so if it's green it's going to set my active X and active Y to my sprite X sprite Y location and essentially all that's doing is moving the current location of my sprite into a global variable to hold for later anytime active X is not equal to zero or active Y is not equal to zero it is going to set the distance on every sprite to hold their own distance value so this is going to go through each of our sprites and set the distance it is away from my globals, which in turn is my active sprite. This will take every sprite and give it the variable of its distance from the active, and that's a variable that I set on sprite. And then from there, we just need to decide uh, what to set the sprites to. So this just checks that our range is not zero. So we have a range button clicked down and then it checks the sprites distance variable and make sure that's not zero, meaning we have a distance for each sprite already set. And then as long as the distance is less than range, meaning within the radius of our active, it'll set it to nearby, which is our red. And this one is essentially the reverse. And this is if we change our button from like 500 to 250, it'll verify that again, we have a range set. Each sprite has a distance, but now if the distance is too big, it's just going to set it back to normal. Yeah, that's about it. Hopefully that's what you're looking for. Let me know in the comments or in the forums if you need something else. Otherwise, have a good one.